52. I got my chair back, dude. I feel like this mic is higher. Oh, hello, hello. Um, Wednesday afternoon, did my sprints this morning, and then I just went on a 45-minute jog. I took an edible before I went on the jog, so at the end of my, I was didn't really feel like high until I stopped. Like the moment I stopped running, I was like, "Oh, it hit you." Both. That's weird. I wonder if it like runner high and edible. Like, whew. So you were floating. Yeah, well, then I went out, laid in the hammock for a bit, got in the pool. The pool's pretty cold. Sat in the hot tub, did my cold plunge, took a shower, made a shake. Jeez. Now we're here. You're like a Last routine hour's kinda. been crazy, dude. I bet. You're like a real routine guy now, huh? Yeah, big, big routine, routine, dude. What did uh, you think of that Max fight? Let's just start it off with that. Max, wow. and I'm sure you talked about it on Timbo yeah. Sugar Show a little bit. I just want to get a little, because uh, we didn't get to really discuss it. That was sweet. Yeah, Max and Yair. Kush, do you mind, bud? We're, having, we're doing a podcast, man. Yeah, Holloway, one of the one of the best featherweights of all time, right? It's got to be, like, yeah, I mean. Him, Volkan, it's so weird, such a weird thing, because he lost to Volkanovski twice, but still considered, I mean, rightfully so, he goes on. He's the back-to-back performances have been uh, impressive. Yeah, and his just his his strike totals is astounding. Yeah, he was like been in the cage. I don't even remember. And is his strikes absorbed? Yeah, that's what Volkanovski was saying. He's like that chin's got to because they did an interview. <laughs> he's like that chin's got to give out at some point. But Nate Nate Diaz hasn't. That's true. But Max, dude, he, God, he's fun to watch. He just he's a warrior. Just stood in there and just took bombs. Yeah, and Emron said that they went to dinner after him. And Max's team, and he was just walking normal, like his just fine. <laughs> dude. The, those yeah, legs, that those first calf round. kick, that first round for real. I was like, oh shit! I was commentating, my legs started going out. Dude, he was just. I was like, fuck. Yeah, you're fucking. That was a sweet performance by yeah, year too. That was a just yeah, was two years God. out. That was sweet. Well, so uh, Max was here. Did you send me what Max was saying to Islam? Or no? uh, I hadn't. I don't know if I sent it for sure, but it, maybe I did. Okay, yeah, you did. Okay. Max Holloway, I can't give out what was my game plan for Habib. I still hope to move up to 155, and we'll have to face his friend Islam Makhachev. I had no idea he, Max even wanted to go up to 55. Has that he been fought about Dustin that? Poirier at 55 for the belt. Oh, shit. It was, dude, that when fight he, was crazy. Dustin didn't even drop him, but was landing some crazy shots. I thought that and was Max a was like, what, bitch? Ew, dude, that fight. <laughs> Pete's going they crazy. Never play like that. You didn't know. Uh, you didn't know um, about that fight. I thought it was that. No, I thought they fought at forty-five. For oh like shit! <laughs> Kush is going crazy right now. <laughs> um, Kamara Usman, Leon Edwards, two. You sent me that. I'm like, what the fuck? Is, why is there two? They fought in two thousand what? Fifteen? Two thousand fifteen, December of two thousand fifteen. And Usman won by decision. Yeah, dude, that Usman's his resume. Resume is crazy. He's literally yeah. fought everybody hey. in that division. Yeah, Stephen Thompson would be the who probably fought him too. No, he hasn't. Um, Stephen Thompson's got to be the well. Leon's next. Hazmat or Kazmat will be after him if he beats Gilbert Burns. Gilbert Burns would probably get the rematch, but that's fight. That would be crazy to be fighting Colby Covington too, Leon Edwards too, Gilbert Burns too. If yeah. Gilbert beats, he's already t- fought Masvidal too. Damn, so that's the, pretty trip. That's so is, crazy. Is Colby that's the Mazda that's dog? champ. That motherfucker's oh. the champ. Dude, there's no question. There, there's no is question. Is he the greatest? If he, what would like? I know. I feel like it's so hard because he's not like the superstar in a sense. Like when you yeah. like, think of like a McGregor or Anderson GSP, Silva, either a GSP, you don't really think of Usman. Maybe not yet. At least to the casual fan, I feel like. What what does he need to do to like make that? Because <laughs> he's fucking know. You look at his resume; he's done it all. Yeah, he definitely became popular from literally just winning and whooping yeah. ass. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think he's <coughs> to the MMA fans. He'll be considered oh, one of the yeah, definitely. He's one of the. He's the pound for pound best in the world right now. He has been for quite some yeah, time. That's true. Um, bless you, bless you, Pete. Bless you, Pete. ESPN a monster came and filmed yesterday. ESPN came to film some sweet stuff for f- that they'll probably drop. That they'll probably drop fight week, um, like the, um, do the, do the pre-fight go, stuff. Like, they go see Paiva and they're gonna do like a little story about it, or is it just kind of you, or what was that? Or do you know? Um, 
I don't really know, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it was like a sit down with Brett Okamoto, and then uh, Monster did, yeah, filmed, came to the house, filmed some stuff. Um, yeah, it was a good day, good day. So did we, we figure out if you were shadow banned or not? Because I'm thinking, I'm starting to think you were. You are. I don't know. The The views are definitely, uh, they're down. But the content's up. But the content's, I thought, yeah, I mean, I, th- I don't know, you brought, you th- you brought it. Or sent it to me yesterday and said we're you well, thought and yeah we've had a lot of reviews on the the ad monetization like because we just say they're mm. because I think YouTube doesn't qualify this as built for kids I guess because we say cuss words and we talk about drugs <laughs> so I think they get upset sometimes when we uh, so if we're doing the wrong things and and they're gonna punish us for that kind of I think so I think YouTube's just kind of pissed off at us like huh. sure. But maybe I'm just lying and maybe... I don't know. Maybe, dude. I, my views and shit are... Yeah, they're all down. So maybe... But life's good, dude. Life. Stream today. I don't usually stream Wednesdays. I did stream today. I did a two-hour stream. And it was sick, dude. It was such a fun stream. It's it's fun. It, I feel like it's more fun when I do take days off. Like, I didn't I didn't game Monday, Tuesday, and then I gamed. Um, I don't know. Actually, I don't know because I have fun even when I game 18 days in a row. <laughs> um, backyard breaks popped in the chat with a fat raid and then uh we got them in the game he dropped like 20 gifted subs oh, and uh i saw that instagram story yeah that he before. said uh if me sono and cg who are some of my sub buddies that i play with all the time if we got the dub they'll send us all a box of cards uh, of yeah ufc cards or what i kind think of so i think so so um twitch was just popping off it's fun when there's 200 300 people in there and then we're playing for something like they're like, all right. Yeah. And then, oh, dude, just heightened, dude. Everything you're, dude. Your awareness, you're just every like, game you're just tweaking. You're just like, check. And I was out. hitting some bah, bah, shots too. You know me though. Oh yeah, I've been playing Halo, bro. Can you? What do you mean you've been like today or yesterday? Last two days, Halo. And you've had fun. It's it's weird. It takes you so back. It's crazy. It's, does it give you that same vibe? Of back in the first time we played Halo. Yeah, it does. Honestly. Like the like they they did it really good. They. That's what they were asking for. Like that's what people, the fans were asking for. Just kind of like remake it to. Source. I'll have, but I'll have to watch your next stream. It was it was it was fun, but it's just like so weird because you go from like the time to kill in the game is so weird. It's like almost in a sense like it's just so much longer than twice as long. Oh, you're shooting these dudes for like thirty minutes. I bet that is weird. But it's weird, especially going from Vanguard because the time to kill in Vanguard is crazy fast. It's just like boom. Yeah, I know. When I was watching, uh, who were we watching play? Sweat Tim and Tim and Swag, I think. Yeah, uh, we were at the Swag. I'm like, damn, it looked like they were playing hardcore. Yeah, it's like I wonder what hardcore is. You just pull the trigger. And like, <clears throat> There's some guns that are literally one shot. Vanguard, just whoop, hardcore. Uh, some guy came up to me at the gym today. He's like, you sugar's little brother. Nah. <laughs> uh, he said he was in Twitch chat, but I, I, uh, I was like, name? it was super loud in there, and I couldn't, I couldn't, and it was just like kind of caught yeah. me off guard because I wasn't expected. Uh-huh. I wasn't wearing like any of your merch or nothing, so That's I was funny. really surprised. I almost want to say he said he was prosecutor. Do you remember pro- like when you played a... Yeah, prosecutor doesn't live here. Okay, I didn't know. He was, that kid was sick at Fortnite, prosecutor. He, he said pros. It was like pro... Prostitute? Pro, pro, oh, he said he was a pro. He said he... No, I'm a prostitute. Yet. He knew he was from the <laughs> Asian massage parlors. <laughs> Uh, no, I, but uh, that was weird. Right. I was like really caught up. God, Damn, it's always funny. Maybe he'll listen to this and they'll say who. It I was. know that's what I'm trying to. Hopefully, because I it just it caught me off guard. I wasn't really listening. I had my headphones in, just took them out quick. So, but that was pretty funny. L O L Bilal versus Wonder Boy. Yeah, that vision's crazy matchups right now. Yeah, I, Wonder Boy. Any you could anybody he fights, he'd be like, "Fuck, it's gonna be hard to beat Wonder Boy." Right. It's hard to take down. Hard to deal with kickboxing. It's like, fuck, it's a tough matchup. But Wonder Boy's got a huge target like, for Bilal's head. <laughs> that, that thing is fucking big. Hola, <laughs> uh, hola. hi, princess. That that I feel like that <laughs> weight division doesn't get recognized for how stacked that is. It's I think too. it does. Does it? Yeah. I always hear the bantamweight and uh, the 55ers. Well, but usually, right now, if you hear bantamweight, it's because it's never been the bantamweight. Yeah, that's true. But I saw you on Instagram. There was like a tweet that you, I didn't even know that you tweeted at Peter and Connor and was like, let me take out the little guys for you. Oh, yeah. I always, I ne- like, I literally get on Twitter randomly a couple times a week and I just find little just things. Just start some shit. That shit was funny. Because Dustin Poirier said that he thinks Peter Young's the best boxer in the UFC. Yeah, that was interesting. 
That's have big they ever, praises from Dustin. Yeah, have they ever trained together? Do you know if they're friends? No, or was I don't it just think like so. Just watching. I think that's just fa- Dustin, a fan of Damn, Peter. That's pretty. That's very good for Peter. I mean, I wonder. USC news injured Masvidal gives time life return reveals who he'd like to face Ooh. next. It was a good injury. Masvidal said in the MMA room, a good injury happened. I don't think I've ever signed about agreement and pulled out. Discuss the actual injury that I got. It should impact me for the next five to six weeks. No, no. Like, why, why am I going to give info on myself? Hey, that's fucking fair. Five to six weeks, so that's a probably a broken bone. Usually bones take about six weeks to heal. Damn. I don't know what else it'd be. I mean... Any sort of ligament injury is usually longer. <laughs> but then that just sets that perfectly up for the tough the ultimate fighter. Does Colby it? Versus oh. Masvidal. I feel. Well, if there, if uh, the rumors that Usman Edwards is looking for March or April of next year. Damn, yeah. Then pretty much. And then everything else is booked or almost booked. Like Burns versus Chimamev. <laughs> Boy versus Bilal. Dude, I'm freezing still. You are? From the cold punch. Yeah. It's that motherfucker was so cold today. Like, it was weird because I, I was, like, high. I was high on my breath, too, just from long nasal exhale, like, ocean breath exhales. Like, it gets you, extra, like, really high. And it was so cause usually when I'm that, I feel like I get sitting there longer, and I'm kind of, like, just. But today it was so cold, I'm, like, couldn't believe it. It was weird. It just doesn't feel that cold. I was like, I think my weed enhanced my pussiness. <laughs> I feel like it does because you feel everything. I feel like when you're high, like yeah, you can, like you literally feel everything that touches you. Or you taste weird, but news. Oh, Anything news? news? You've been. Uh, I talked about. We kind of talked about on the Snoop part. How you have, you don't listen to podcasts? I forget, I dude. Been my, no, you I, never do. I used to. Like I said, in Montana, yeah. I used to when I was driving. Snoop one or the Snoop with Rogan one was uh, four hours long, and it was so fucking good. That, four hours? Yeah, the Joe Joe Rogan Ben Shapiro one was really good. How much weed do they smoke on that Snoop? <laughs> yeah, he said he was in the highest he's ever been. Really? And Snoop said he they were in uh, Planet Snoopiter. <laughs> Dude, Eddie, you gotta listen oh, to that. Okay, I will. Because anytime, the whole time Snoop talks, I feel like this mic's like has like a. Does, do you hear that? Huh? Huh? Maybe I am high. Is it like no. echoing or something? No, it's like a. Uh, I don't know. What was what was I saying? Snoop. And every time Snoop talks. Oh yeah, he just it sounds like he's about to start rapping. He's so smooth. <laughs> like some of the shit he says, just like it's fucking funny. No, it's really good. That you should listen to it. I've been watching uh, <laughs> In the Dark on Netflix. Have you seen that? About the Blind Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Hot Blind think, Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. said something about it. Did you end up finishing it or watching yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, it we're was, on like episode, or season three now. Pretty yeah. deep into it. But that show's sweet. Season three? Yeah. Oh, we didn't finish it then. Uh, Shit, we might not even got a season two. Re- really? Danny said she, she kind of got bored of it. I was what? there a little it's bit. It's kind of like, I was talking to Alana about it. It's kind of like Prison Break in a sense where it's like, bad shit just keeps happening like there's just like no end to the bad like every time they something yeah. good should happen something bad happens then you just kind of prison break was good yeah but war just sent me this madden video he uh he found on it, it was, i think it was madden 2018 because me and him have been playing madden a lot um it was a clip he had someone someone played he must be on this he's a subscriber to this guy's channel cookie boy 117 642,000 subscribers oh, damn and it was like a Broncos. He was the Broncos. The other kid was the Cowboys. It was like a sick game. I, I fast forwarded through it just to the plays. Oh, okay. it was a good game. Did Warlick lose? Yeah, but a field goal, but made Damn. some big plays. It was sweet. That's funny. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> found that. I know. Well, he's been grinding Madden for a long time. Yeah. Well, they he put a video on Instagram or a picture on Instagram of him at a tournament like a while ago. Yeah, that dude from grinding. I, I'm trying to get him down here to start just streaming. Even if he comes down for two weeks, starts to stream just up at the apartment yeah. and just grinds on it. But he's streaming Madden. Streaming Madden, even just stream Call of Duty, talking about fights. Just trying yeah. to. He knows you know. a lot about fights. He's a he's a nerd. He's a UFC nerd for sure. Even, he's like what you would think you would be because you're. And the, yeah, kind of. Huh? You've yeah. been following this Kyle Rittenhouse stuff. I mean, when I did just, you see the video, like why he's getting? Yeah, I know why he like oh. he like he was pr- 
he was at the he, one of the huge rides and like. Did you watch the all the videos though? No, no. Oh, it was okay. a while ago. It was a long last time ago, wasn't it? Uh, no, I don't think so. Two, no, like last year, oh. this year I think actually. Oh. Um, yeah, I watched just on YouTube like what what should I know about Kyle Rittenhouse, and like it showed like a I don't know I think like a forty minute video, got me up to speed though. It's crazy. There's so it's crazy the 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 two different lawyers going back and forth just saying it was self defense and then saying saying it wasn't. I mean hours of trial they're going through. Yeah, that stuff's crazy because they're just kind of looking for one of the someone to make a slip up and they can catch him because lawyers are just so good at asking Dude, questions. It's crazy. Or, it's such a weird thing. And the, uh, it is crazy. I I wanted to be a lawyer growing up, and then I realized what you had to do, and I was like, "Fuck that!" That's too intense. So much. That's but, like a, that's just stressful. Life. What do you what do you call them? Guilty? Or innocent? There's I see both sides. I see both sides. But you say you're in the juror right now, and you got to make a decision. I'm, this guy's pretty much but charged as an adult probably, and or is he an adult? He was 17. Um, yeah, there's things like, okay, why were you there? Yeah. And like, is it was he there for a good reason? And I'm, okay, say that doesn't even matter why he was there. He had a gun illegally, shouldn't have had a gun, was running. The kid threw a bag at him and was running after him. Kyle turned around, and he was close, like really close, and shot him. So, like, is that self-defense? Yeah, I mean, or he has to physically, if you get in a fight with that guy, maybe he doesn't trust that he could win, so it's kind of life or death for him in that moment. Or is it – he? Sh- does it matter if he shouldn't have been there or had a gun? So do you think – what if they – are they going to try and charge him with the possession of the firearm and everything, even if he doesn't get charged with murder, do you know? I don't. That's a good question. I, I would assume so. I wonder if he'll still face some time, if he, even if he gets tr- even if he gets off in self-defense because he still shouldn't be there with a gun. Yeah, and then the second to- guy he killed was same same thing. Like he was on his back. I think he had fallen. I think he had fallen. He was on his back, and the guy like – kicked him or something like that and then boom shot them in the chest that shit's crazy that that is going on like just like a thousand miles that way <laughs> like, i know dude. so and we'd never even know like if there was no media internet never crazy. even know any of this is going on which is crazy i heard they had like drone footage of them though yeah yeah there's, people were kind of like footage weirded out they're like how much footage does the government really have on all of us can they just yeah, that's, yeah, they whenever. did have drone footage of that. There were a lot of people with their cell phones. There was like a lot of footage of the event. That's what you can yeah. see the whole thing, which is pretty crazy, which is, yeah, it's just, I don't know. This will probably be a Netflix show one of these days. Oh, I'm sure. Like the lawn, buying laundry, if they ever. Yeah. Oh, shit. That thing went away quick, though. I, I know. Like I was, was thinking about that, too. I was like, fuck, the, I heard he, they found him dead, and boom, done. On. on to the next. But fuck, what are you going to talk about? His dead body? Yeah, I don't know. Unless what, they find more in like what a, what happened, or but then it kind of brings me like to the Je- uh, Jeffrey Epstein and the Ghislaine Maxwell. Oh stuff. shit! Like Ghislaine Maxwell. Did got you watch all that? Oh uh, the uh, uh, Jeff- the Jeffrey Netflix and shit. Island or whatever. Yeah, but then she got arrested, and I feel like we never even heard much about it. She's still like <sighs> powerful like, people. There's powerful people. I don't even there, know if right? she's on trial anymore. I don't know if she's. But yeah, did they arrest her in London or here in New York? I don't uh, remember. I'm not sure. Yeah, who knows? Fuck. But the media's the, crazy. They were expecting her to really rat out some high-profile people. I was fucking trying to find everything I could on that. So, I wonder how that's going. Because the media, whatever they want us to know, we know. Which yeah. is crazy. And even just, like, using Google. Like, Google has so much censored stuff. Like, some people you don't even use Google. They use, um... Oh. I heard Joe Rogan talking about it. They use, like, a I completely different, um... Web browser thing. Yeah, yeah web browser. Like it's, yeah, I have heard that too. Well, like, Trump and then Trump made a is making a whole social media platform. Called, is he? Mm-hmm. Called Damn. Uh, type it out. I can't think of what it's called. The truth, maybe, or something like that. I don't know what it's called. Trump platform. The already reading funds off Trump's new social media platform. Trump's new social truth. media truth. Truth. Because I, when he was president, he was all pissed at Twitter because he ended up getting his Twitter like <laughs> suspended as president. That's fucking funny. So now apparently, he, I, w- I don't even want to know what the fuck's going to go on on that platform. Yeah, I wonder if it'll just be completely uncensored. There's no way. Why? But maybe. But fuck. How are you going to control? 
I guess it's the you don't. There's no control. You're no control. But people could like. I don't even know. That's crazy as hell. That is crazy. I'll sign up, dude, and I'll post. You know what I mean? Yeah, fuck it. You and Trump become friends. Uh, he was at the fight. He was at, he was at the fight. That's for sure, for sure. 24 days. 24 days. Jeez, that's flying by. It's flying by. This time, this far out, it's like, fuck. It's like, I still have 24 days, but it's also like, oh, shit, that's in 24 days. It's that's, a weird timing. Like, oh, it seems far, but seems so close. How does fight weeks feel in that sense? Does it seem, does that go fast or does that go slow? Because I feel like you're pretty busy fight week. Eh. Like just doing media stuff, but then you said there's also a lot of kind of downtime where you're just chilling. A lot of a lot of downtime, but every last two last two times, you don't hear that in my mic. Okay, I kind of do now. Oh, fuck, last two last two times, um, I bought I brought Call what? of Duty. I wonder what the hell. It, I wonder. Oh God. If you can just hear it. Hopefully not. Hello. Try that now. Hello, hello. Um. Last two times I brought Call of Duty, the internet sucks so bad, and I always forget I don't have gun classes on oh, my Xbox. Yeah, Xbox. So I'm just running around with like picking up random loot. Oof. And I just don't have it. Um, the internet sucks. There's a oh, there's a way to like link your Activision account with your. Yeah, I've heard. I've just never done it. Uh, it sucks. Like, I don't know. It sucks. I can't leave because I would go. I would go. Uh, Team Complexity has like a fucking. Gaming studio. Gaming studio there that I could go get stream on. You should bring your other PC. <laughs> but the internet might. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth that. PC. Flying with the PC. Well, if you're in a PJ, it's worth it. That's true. Uh, I'll go Tuesday, Wednesday. This episode is sponsored by Geology. Use code SUGAR. Sugar, leak and bile. For 50% off. Wow. How, what do you do for your face? Dude, routine? you want to know? Yeah. Okay, I get in the shower, wash my face, boom, hit my everyday face wash. One in the shower, wash, right? Wash it, get in my beard, rub it on my face. Just know that I'm not putting shit on my face, putting quality shit on my face. Quality That's important. Shit. You don't put shit, you don't put quality shit. Put it on my face, rub it in, get out the shower. I'm like, you know what? I'm missing something. Oh, it's moisturizer. <laughs> boom, ready to go. Dude, I have a question. Is it like, is this for everybody? Is it well, it's personalized. Specificized. Specificized? Specificized. Okay. Um, I'm regiment number 15, dude. That's all I'm saying. 30 second ad. Figure out what you are. What are you, number 18? I'm number 18. For loser. No, jokes. 18 was the coolest. Um, Everyday face wash. You, you, t- you told me today, dude, in Twitch chat. Shout out to White Claw. He, he messaged, you said he got geology. In chat, he said, I just ordered some geology, blah, blah, blah. It came like a couple days later. He's like, dude, I didn't know my face could feel like that. He said his girlfriend was excited for him. It was actually, like, this is dead serious. I swear. I could just picture me like, oh, because, dude, you don't know how good your face can feel. No. It's just like, I feel like it's just like eating healthy. Most people don't know how their body can feel until they eat healthy. It's the same thing. Like, you don't know your face can feel good and alive and, like, not just dead. Yeah. Get some quality f- Wash on there and get some bl- the moisturizer, dude. I love that shit, it man. It feels good. The eye cream. I'm like, I'm oh, on eye cream? god, I know. Yeah, I am. I know, Dan. I'm starting to do eyelash shit now. Danny's got me. No, I'm sure. <laughs> Danny's on my hand. Like, what are you? What are you doing? It's like putting this thing around my eyelashes so they grow more. I'm like, what? Whatever. And then I just squirt my geology. And but then, uh, I still look handsome. That's great. Yeah. But this episode is sponsored by Geology. Use code Sugar. Link in bio. Take the quiz. Take the quiz. Fifty percent off. That's saying they're like, like this product's so good. They know they know they're gonna get you hooked on it because you're gonna feel so good. This is genius. They're like fifty yeah. percent off because you're gonna get it and you're gonna love it and you're never gonna want to stop. And it's life, dude. Geology. Geology.com. Coach Sugar. I game Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, three days. Yeah, tough to say, tough to say. Sometimes it's nice, though, not streaming. It's just gaming with the boys. Yeah, it is a lot different. Because Tim and I take turns every time. Like, we'll play one for one. But, uh, God, those wagers. You play wagers when, or only with me? Um, I played with you, and then we, me and Sonoman and uh, Rome, Ryan started playing them a little bit. Dude, but I play ev- every single game for money. Well, even if it's two I- bucks. Makes it so much more fun. I think I need to start doing that because it gets kind of boring. Dude, if you're playing wagers every game, because, I mean, it's funny. It's like $2, but if you lose, it's just like you're lost. It's, it's like a competition, fuck. yeah. 
I'm on a variety streamer now, though. I play uh, Halo, so. Halo, fucking Vanguard, Vanguard. Rebirth, Verdansk. Oh. Are you going to be a variety streamer? Could no. you get... I I just can't get into more, more games than one at a time. I think if I had more time, but I only really stream for like two hours. You do have more time. You don't do anything else. I know, but... <laughs> <laughs> if you streamed more? If I streamed more, I could like... Because I, I don't know. You play like Halo for an hour, and then you hop over and play Rebirth for an hour, and then you can't really get warmed <sighs> up. Like exactly, you're, exactly, you're exactly. Playing. So it's like I'd rather just play one game for two hours. Yeah, no, I feel, feel that. I know I finally got a Madden PA or EA code for the PC. Oh. I'd love to. I think after camp, I'm going to kind of play around with that and then do two different streams. I guess I just said I couldn't do that, but I'm going to. So. But Madden's but, easy. You don't need to like. I guess I was thinking two shooter games, but yeah, I guess I do play Madden. Madden's fun. I still suck. Like I, I haven't really gotten better. I don't learn a playbook. I don't run the same plays. I fucking ask Madden. Well, surprisingly, there's a lot of strategy that goes into Madden. Like no, no, no there for sure is. Yeah, but, I mean, and a lot of there's like a lot of things in Madden you wouldn't like. There's cover three beaters that are like sometimes glitched in the game. So like no matter what, your guy just is faster than the safety in a cover three. So yeah, just, you just gotta be ready for that. Yeah, but there's like they're literally legitimate like glitches pretty much. Like that's like meta. Like you can't beat it really. So there's th- there's like would like pro you or like pro Madden players they use like the, all those metas and shit that. Yeah, I've been just watching that TD Barrett um, on YouTube. But I, I guess he's not a pro. I guess he's more just like a streamer, entertainer. I would want to watch some of the pros, pro gamers. I mean, are you gonna play me after I this? I want to beat you, dude. I don't I care. Every single day, you do beat. Not a, less, I mean, you're three every and time zero. No. no way. Three what? Zero. I beat you twice in one day. No, but you did it. It was halftime and we quit. What was the score? Twenty-one zero. And why did we quit? <laughs> because we had to go. Yeah, you weren't coming back. Oh, you God. made me play my friend, and then I told him I didn't want to play him. Yeah, to beat his ass. And you guys kept talking shit. I was like, I don't. They stayed play. the night that night. Yeah, and he was because he did three minutes in the cold punch. Solid. Dude. When I texted you and said, I bet he's still cold. Did you ask him? Yeah, I did. And he's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, he didn't like. We all had blankets and everything, just chilling downstairs, like sweatshirts on. And he was just, he just, he was just sitting there. Oh, uh, uh, like didn't know what the temperature was around him. It was funny, dude. That cold plunge is a motherfucker. Yeah, it is. It's the best. It is the best. Felt good running outside today. Getting just being outside in the sun felt good. Um, We're gonna go head up to that uh, mountain range tomorrow morning and just do a little hike. The one that you said you bike at. <laughs> oh, that'll be fun. How it's kind of tricky finding par- like where to park. Oh, like really? I'm like, it's not like it's a park here. You guys will figure it out maybe, but you just gotta fucking. Do- yeah, it's kind of tricky. We were gonna do it this morning, but we just. You're gonna wake up and do it early. Yeah, not like time. crazy early. Probably like seven, seven thirty. Nothing Cause like Alana's that. chilling for the week, you said. Yeah, well, she had two weeks off because she had finals last week, so she's just big chilling. So you have finals, and you have two weeks off, and you go back to school. Yeah, in her quarter. The system. fuck. Yeah, then she goes back to school. What are you finals. Yeah, it's, it's like, like kidding finals. Yeah, I know it sucks. It's like finals for two weeks, and she's like, well, even I think it's only two weeks, pretty much, because it's also Thanksgiving break. So they're like, because her last quarter, I'm pretty sure she only had a week off, and then she hopped into what? the next quarter, but. Gets it done quicker, an accelerated program, which is nice. Yeah. What are we doing for Thanksgiving? Oh, you're going to Montana? South Dakota. We're going to go visit her family. Yeah. But I didn't even know if you were going to do anything. Yeah. I mean, I I can't eat nothing crazy. Daniel definitely make me something fucking... What day? Is it Thursday? It's always Thursday. Thursday. Well, we were here last year for Thanksgiving, and Danny made some... Yeah, Daniel makes some (laughs) Fuego for shizzle, but... It was uh, different than most, like, your standard... Yeah, a little fucking a little Mexican flair to it. Yeah, she had a little pizzazz. Um, she'll make something delicious, but fr- yeah, Thursday I got to just eat my meal plan, but she'll make me something within it. And then Friday, and then uh, Saturday, I'm going to try not to do something crazy cheap. My weight's been, I'm, like, I'm probably like a pound less than I was last camp, which is going to be nice. I'm going to try to maintain that Yeah, going in, because the weight cuts aren't, they just haven't been that fun, you know? They're never fun, but no. I think walking around a little bit lighter, which is just being more disciplined on your diet this far out, um, it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. Have you heard anything? Like, has Paiva done any interviews? Has he done, I, I he doesn't know. really speak English, I don't think. Oh. So it's kind of just tricky. I just I haven't seen or heard anything about him. I don't... Some, usually I see I just something. seen, like, him say I'm not good under pressure. Um, and that was, like, three, four, five weeks ago or whatever. But, yeah, I guess I haven't really seen anything either. Hmm. It's about the sugar show, though. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. 
That card, man. Holy crap. I'm still so excited for it. That's going to be like <sighs> the sick. Because we'll, we. They didn't move Dominic Cruz up. Who's still in the prelims? Ponzanibia and another guy. Damn. So is he the. Is he headlining the prelims then? Maybe. Dom. Might have moved. I know. Dom, dom, dom. I know. That, but dude, that's, this is going to be the sickest card because I guess that we watched Mc, But we were supposed to watch. You were supposed to be on McGregor Khabib. I was supposed to be there. Yeah. I'm on God. there. I was there. <laughs> it's so sick. And then what was the. You were supposed to be on another sweet card too. I think I was supposed to be on another Connor card at one point. I think so too. Fucking remember. But yeah. No, this card's going to be sweet. Charles versus Dustin. Me and Dustin were both on the winners on the last one. Yeah. So. Dustin should probably be kicking me a little fucking cheddar for these pay per views, Jim. You think? I think so. Well, two yeah. percent. I'm gonna hit him, gonna hit him up. up in the DMs, maybe on Twitter. Tell him. me the best boxer. Say, dude. Come on, man. No, Peter's probably up there for sure. You think Max he, is? Max is up there. Peter's. St- it doesn't get hit as much. Right. Well, if you're saying that's like, what's a, the best boxer? I'd say Floyd Mayweather. He hits and doesn't get hit. Yeah. So I think that's part of his hit, not getting hit. But as far as just throwing hands and combos and cardio, yeah, Max is up there. But do you think Peter, that's like? Do you think Max knows he to take a shot, give a shot kind of thing? Oh yeah, he's just he a could, tough motherfucker. Do I don't he, know. He's does. I mean, he does do good at slipping. He just comes forward so much. You just fucking you're gonna get hit. Just trust his chin. And so when you much. throw that many punches, like that's that many more opportunities to get countered. It's just it just goes with the style. You're gonna throw that many, you'll probably get hit. Damn. I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. I, don't I wonder do if that they, shit. Well, because Dana kind of said, mentioned the Volk. Yeah, Volk 3. three. I'd watch. I'd be excited. Oh, I'd it would be, I think it would be big. Um, But then Volk's kind of said something along the lines, like, if you want to go chase money fights, go chase money fights. I'll that, fight whoever's next. But I don't know. That'd be weird training for someone for your third fight camp. That would be, especially when you beat him twice. Yeah, of, but I think even in bulk size, like fuck, those are close, close rounds. Like I don't bet he doesn't feel just like dominant victories. He like, he's one. like fuck, they probably craves one, like, or he's like God, I have to fight this motherfucker again. Yeah, for real, another fucking straight war. Yeah, Damn. um, I'm curious how that'll play out. I I hope Max stays at 45, just for if you two could ever, if you ever decide to, move he'll up. stay at 45. I think I think he's a. I wonder what he walks around at, because he like. I heard he gets big. Really? Not as big as... Did you see how big uh, Chandler. Chandler was? He said he was 191 two Bro. days after the fight. That's fucking insane. Yeah, 155 to 191 is pretty crazy. Especially for not being very tall. Like He's thick. He doesn't... Yeah, and he holds it really well. Like, he, lo- you look at him and you'd be like, okay, that guy's like 165, 170. Yeah, shredded. 190? It's weird after those weight cuts and being disciplined and eating like that. You just you have a food you have a mental disease for food. Right. The you need to eat, even if you don't really even if you're full, you just need to eat, and you don't understand that unless you cut weight. Not just cutting weight, but diet. Yeah. I mean, I w- you felt it a little bit. Yeah. When you had, could hardly eat, now your stomach probably feels better, but but still, different. But I wonder if there's gonna ever be like eating disorders coming out because. People are really worried about high schoolers and wrestling causing eating disorders because they're cutting weight at that young of an age. Who that young can, yeah. And then they're doing it. If they like go extreme, to, like the way they're doing it. For eight Fuck. years from the time they're 13, 14, to the, if they go play college are they, wrestling. I wonder what, what, it would, what they would see. Like, I mean, they're just eating a ton and getting fat or they like, have stomach issues. Yeah, I don't know. I know they've been starting to do a lot of research on it because people have been like more careful about, like, should you weight cut at that that much at that young of an age but i wonder if they'll, they'll see that in the ufc fighters huh. too but I, I think they're probably a little bit more worried about ct and yeah no <laughs> shit disorders. and it's like we cut weight a couple times a year yeah wrestlers do it a lot more right yeah it's the whole season probably what like three months and they're Oof. doing it however often they have meats which i think could be damn that could yeah that cannot be good for you yeah would not be fun especially when you're in high school and you're like all your hormones are running and then you're not eating you're suppressing your hormones and then yeah like, oh, it's just it's stressing your body with no God. recovery and you're not yeah that's just yeah. i would never fantasy know. football how's that shit going 10 and 0 bruh Wiz, this is the greatest fantasy football run i've ever seen Oof. but the crazy ever went undefeated i've no i've never even seen anyone go 10 and 0 honestly in my like really? five years of playing fantasy 
Haven't lost a match. Are yeah. you playing a bunch of against a bunch of just like the last two turds? Weeks, I played Warlike, who who's eight and two, and then uh, Wiz Compton, who I literally thought he had the second best team in the league. His team absolutely shit the bed. Oh. My team scored like a hundred and five. That was like the lowest score. But the funny part is, literally the two best teams, Warlike and Wiz, that I played. They both shit the bed, and I barely won. And I did my oh. two worst weeks, too. So I just like the luckiest run I've ever Damn. had. Damn. How many more until playoffs? Six? Um, so usually rounds 14. Or no, fi- oh, I guess the change now. 15, week 15, 16, and 17 is playoffs. because now For fantasy football? Yeah. Oh, so they don't actually wait until they go to the playoffs? No. Oh. They the and they don't usually. Or like, so it depends on each league, but a lot of leagues don't play week 18. Because now there's 18 leagues. Right, right. Oh, there's 18 now? Yeah, they just changed it this year. But people don't, you don't play that last game. There's two bye weeks then? No, just an extra game. Huh. Which people were kind of, like the players were like, that makes our season even longer. Like, what the fuck? But NFL did it for money, I think. Yeah, that's really But yeah, you don't play your players week 18 because sometimes those teams have playoffs clinch so they only huh. play their best play, best players so the people usually go 15 16 17 will be the playoffs is that what you guys are doing yeah and then some some people do it there's differently. a super bowl week 17 is like the, the first place second place yeah and some people get do two weeks so like week you play week 16 against a team and then you also play week 17 and those two combined scores damn we just, we're just doing uh single games 15 16 17 damn so you'll make what 250 I think well, yeah. I think we're uh, we did twenty five dollar buy in, and then third place gets money back. First place gets majority. So I don't I don't know the exact math. I Damn. think it's like twenty five, fifty, and twenty five or something like that. <coughs> Damn, but that's, that, that's what I'm nervous about. I'm like I'm gonna go fifteen and zero, and then just lose in the first round. Well, actually, I'll have a bye week in the first round. Of the oh, that would be embarrassing. Because fantasy shit football bad. Is- luck as much as it's like you can trade and hope but it's literally like you're betting on players to go out like real humans to go out yeah against other real humans and they're all you have no control no and they're elite of the elite so it's like fuck one player who may not usually be good in fantasy football can just pop off because they're professional athletes like anyone can do anything in that sport so it's crazy watching tyreek hill catch the ball and run just looks like a little mouse like like a fucking just so it looks so small compared to those guys, but so fast. And people take like such good angles on him, and he's just so fast that he just like you look. He's playing tag, and you can see his back. Like, yeah. Like, nope, not gonna get me. <laughs> it's literally so funny watching those dudes like, try to catch him. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, crazy. I haven't seen. I've in all my years of watching football, like watching Tyreek Hill just completely outrun defenders is crazy. Yeah, I mean, you had Dude, Chris insane. Johnson playing running back. CJ like, when he got Yeah, when he got in the open field, yeah, he was gone. But, like, Devin Tyreek Hester, Hill, too. Tyreek Hill just does it in, like, close quarters. Like, oh, is he, like, like, smaller, too? Like, yeah, shorter he, than the typical? I think he's 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Dude, that's got to make him, like, even, I feel like, quicker. Or yeah. look smaller. Just, or but faster. Even, like, even corners in the NFL really aren't, like... I mean, you'll have your handful of corners like Jalen Ramsey, who are big dudes, like 6'2", yeah. whatever. But even corners are a lot, like 5'10", 5'11", 6 foot. So. Yeah, we he, are. Yeah, he – that dude is – that dude <laughs> – you, you got to race him. Yeah. I Yeah, it's crazy watching him. It's crazy. Like, I, I guess I talk about it every time now that I watch football. It's just so weird to me now that I'm somewhat invested in football. I know it's fun. it's I'm from Madden to too. Yeah, and from when you moved down here. If you didn't move down here, I wouldn't have. For whatever reason, I just didn't. I don't know. I just didn't watch. But, but now it's it's weird watching now compared to when I was young. Because when I was young, I watched the Broncos. Just one right. of the Broncos to win, one of the Chiefs to lose, Chargers to lose, Raiders to lose, Broncos to win, win the division. Now it's like I'm just watching to see great players. J- yeah, I'm watching just perfor- that each like individual performances seeing if someone's going to pop off or is, is, yeah it's watching performances rather it's pretty cool like watching Lamar every week you just yeah I'm like, what's he going to do yeah yeah I know I love football it's actually I know I'm glad you got back into it, it makes it more fun cuz yeah. but I mean you're not into it like I am to where I watch no. it every day I you <laughs> every Sunday you have your fucking two Seven monitors and you're looking football. and you're looking at your phone yeah. watching a game well, there's just fantasy <laughs> football and bets. It's just like all to get combined is just yeah. super fun. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm Maybe I'll do a fantasy football league. I should do it. Yeah, I'll do it one next year yeah, and just try to go with the, see, get the hang of it a bit. Yeah, we could get you in on ours. It'll be fun because 
it'll really? it's like it, but fantasy football is so weird because it's like even if you know good players and everything but it's also like you have to know what kind of players are good because there's like standard leagues half ppr leagues full ppr league and then people do other leagues where like you have a super yeah, flex two quarterbacks it's like there's a lot to go in and it's just hard because even if you look at a player it's like yeah that guy's good but is he good in fantasy yeah sometimes not really but like I don't who know. are they playing this week who's the defense yeah. so i guess there's there's a skill element to knowing i mean i guess a, a knowledge element and in yeah, information but, but then you have like this even this week for example tom brady went to the washington football team and washington literally call like, the redskins they literally have like the 29th ranked pass defense when do they the change league. him to the redskins football team or whatever two two years ago i think they have a couple of redskins was yeah because it was um dude which is which is crazy because my remember, do you santana remember coach, moss remember coach Wetzel? the redskins yeah his the bald guy yeah his great grandpa i think um it's because they're Native Clint American. Portis. Yeah. They're Native American, and he, his great grandpa, was like helped establish the Washington Redskins, and so they didn't think like it the was, football team. Yeah, like how, the name, not like oh. he didn't help establish the actual football oh, okay. team, but like the like was something had to do with the name and everything. And he was Native American, and he didn't find it offensive. But well, yeah, it's just, dude. I was listening to the Rogan podcast today with on Peter Atia, I think is his name, and they were playing clips of just like. I'm gonna probably butcher some universities, Harvard or whatever, like talking and like the shit they say is so weird. I wish I need, I wish I had a clip of it to play you right now. It's so weird. How they're like they'll stand up. Oh, I guess it was because they were so they were describing themselves to the people that can't see blind people. Okay. In the university. And they were saying like their skin color. And then, like, Rogue was like, why would the blind person, why would they have to say their skin color? Like, that's super weird. But they're like, he, she, he, him, what pronoun to use? Yeah, It's, it's so weird. fucking, dude, it's so weird. It's getting so complicated, but weird. I wish I could play that clip, too. Have you ever watched, uh, I've, like, been on, <laughs> just, like, have you, do you know Ben Shapiro? Oh, yeah. I listen, I just listened to him and Rogan's full podcast. Have you ever listened to him just, like, go and defend, like, he does, he goes to big colleges and he has, like, huge Debates. talks and he does, yeah. like, Q&As with people. And I don't know anything they're talking about, but it's just funny, like, to watch those interactions because a lot of the times he's, like, very well prepared for the yeah. questions and he just shits on the, like, the college students, but... And I don't even know who's right or wrong. I've just seen. Well, the there's not. A, I don't think there really is a right or wrong. It's an opinion thing. Yeah. But it's uh, yeah, that shit's interesting. Have you ever heard of Jordan Peterson debates? Jordan Peterson. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh well, yeah. He does. He goes to college like and that. debates. It is fucking good. I'm trying to find that clip. Um, I can't find it. Did you listen to any more of that Harry Mack when I sent you? <laughs> His freestyle. Oh, not the whole thing. I listened to quite a bit, but that was that on TikTok. Yeah, it was a long How video long? on TikTok. I think you make like up to three minutes. I oh, I think I was like, what the fuck? Did that, it restart? <laughs> no, dude, that was sick. it was Harry long. Mack he's like, he's the goat. I mean, I I, I guess I don't want to say goat, but he's like, dude. How he's gotta did, be up there. He's gotta be when you think of how what freestyling is off the do- dome like that and entertaining. It's like that's up there. He's like taking words from the crowd, but he's also taking like his sight from the crowd like throwing that in there just it's just great i like i've watched harry max since i was like literally in middle school high school yeah that was so sick i well, always I get so like jealous when people can just spit like that that's so i don't get how their brain like because if you ever like when we try to freestyle the joke it's like i can't think further than literally like a, maybe a sentence maybe a sentence i know i'll right. rhyme three words like damn that's kind of sick <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but the thing is like those good freestylers they really don't even rhyme that often Hola. If you listen they don't really rhyme they just like i don't know it's but yeah harry max dude that was sick legend. elena's pop top tooth's popping through mm-hmm. and so we've been giving her these frozen yogurt those little gogurt oh. packs and she loves She's them eating them up just fucking puts them nice on her teeth Ooh coolness are we gonna try to go to the cowboys cardinals game I january 6th uh, january 4th s- yes something like that second third i was thinking about because it's in the l or in uh in dallas we'll probably be able to go sit in the fucking thing who do i that's a conflict for me dude that game is probably gonna have sweet playoff implications too like what seed if because the cardinals should who do i go for i'm team cowboys but living 
I'm also team fucking Redskins. Kyler Murray. I know. Cardinals. Or, oh, shit. Yeah. Let's <laughs> go watch this. Murray, DeAndre Hopkins. It's tough. I'm going to just go and watch as a fan and just not cheer for anybody. But, dude. That would be such a fucking um, We're going to try to go to that. Dad doesn't really talk to me still, but I might message him and say, hey, you want to go? Dude, that would be crazy. In Dallas Stadium, playoff implications <sighs> on the line, probably. Because I think it's week 16 or something. So, they it should be. Big game. Should be. Big especially if the game. Who do you got? You got anybody on their teams for um, fantasy football? I have Kyler Murray in one league. Yeah. Damn, that's going to be tough for you. I know. You can be that one pop off, but also not but to where a Cowboys kick a game when you feel goal or what? The thing is, when you've been a Cowboys fan for as long as I have, you, you know I they're going to lose. That game expect. This year's a little different. I mean, other than the Broncos last week, but like mm-hmm. when I uh, when I watch a Cowboys game, I'm like fully expecting them to shit the bed. Just shit the bed. So it's like that's probably why they lose. I guarantee if you switch that up and just think they're going to win, they will. It's hard, dude. The secret. Been a Cowboys fan for <laughs> damn long. Yeah, yeah. I understand what they do. I know what they bring to the table. But hey, maybe it's different. Mike McCarthy. Uh, it's got the boys fired. They put Mike it on the Falcons. Just jokes. They would have. Oh, I know. And they didn't stop. I've and, never seen the oh. Cowboys do that. It was 30 or it was 20. They just kept scoring. Yeah, it was like 30. They went for two. They went for two up 30 at the half. They called the timeout after they got the ball back from a time. Like, they were just ruthless, motherfucker. Yeah, and I, I like think them. they knew that Warlike likes the Falcons. And, and they just wanted to just pound them. Pound them. He pound said he pound turned them. it off in the second quarter. I, but he did because I started playing uh, Warzone. He doesn't play football. Or he doesn't play uh, Coddle the Duty on Sundays, but he was playing Sunday. Damn, he was not so happy. He was but hurting. he did come back and beat Sono. That was crazy. Sono. Sono had Zeke and CD Lamb. The first half of the Cowboys game, they had four touchdowns combined. In and he still lost. And he still lost. Well, It's weird how like he lost, but he didn't do anything wrong. Literally. Because Patrick Mahomes and Daryl Williams, which is four likes, two players combined for like they both had the best game of their year combined for like 65 or something. <laughs> That's crazy. Who was that player who played San Francisco? I think it was. That, who was that receiver that kept scoring? Uh, Debo Samuel. Samuel. He's a, He's a stud. He's so fun to watch. He's a st- I was like, damn. That, yeah, fast. Yeah. They, well, his nickname is, I don't know if you've ever seen Friday. His mm, nickname's uh, off that movie. Debo. Like, he, that's not uh-huh. his nickname, but... So he has like a bunch of bicycle jokes and stuff. Dude, that was he. How many times he scored two two times? Two times, three. Yeah. Fuck. Look like me out there. He's swear. So fast. You should watch some of his highlights. I know. I'm gonna play. have to. Because he plays like a. They give him. They they run. Uh, I seen that. Yeah, yeah, he runs the ball. Did he run up. in for a score? Yeah, he did. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say because I think he made a good catch down by the goal line, and then they ran it in. I was like, damn, yeah, this motherfucker looking like like a Shane out there. It all. The Niners. He the punted Niners. it. Yeah, he punted it. <laughs> I saw the fake punt pass was with the was that the 49ers? Or the Chiefs? I don't remember. Fake punt really pass on 4th and 9 or whatever or 4th and something. I didn't really watch the Chiefs game. That, was, that, that was might crazy. not have been Chiefs. It was kind of a blow up. Yeah. It's weird. I've been watching a lot of Madden videos on YouTube, football highlights on YouTube. Just football season, I might have to fucking hit a little drop, a uh, three, five step drop back. Yeah. On Piva, little ba uh, 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 boom, like I was dribbling, da, 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 da. punt him, kick him around the nuts. Ooh, a little <laughs> pond ski, grab his head, try to soccer <laughs> kick him. <laughs> we drove by, it was like a week ago or something, but we drove down uh, that road right there, and uh, there's like a little flag football game going out, and that's oh. when I was like, damn, I hope Sean has a little boy too. Because I know. Like, My football. God. <laughs> I let you want to play football, baby. Yeah. 